Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm going to be creating a farmhouse style home sign and this is part of a challenge hosted by Domestic Diva DIY. If you have not seen Sonia's channel, you need to go over there and check it out. Subscribe to her DIY channel and she also has two other channels, Domestic Diva Home and Cooking. She is an amazing woman and does all sorts of great things. So you're sure to find something you love on one of her channels or maybe all three of them. I'll have her channels listed in my description box. So make sure you go check them out. This is a cupboard door that I picked up at Ikea a while back. It cost me all of $5 and I really loved the lines of it. I like how the inside looks, but it's just not the right color. So I'm going to tape it off and work on the frame portion first. To prep the frame portion for painting, I took it outside and used my sander on it just to get some of the shiny finish off of it. Cupboard doors always have a really durable finish on them, but I needed to rough that up so I could use the antique wax that I want to and get a darker, deeper color. I'll be using bare dark antique wax and it's just a really beautiful chocolate brown and works really well for antiquing things. I'm just using a paper towel to apply the wax and I'm going to be doing a couple of coats. You can see that I'm already getting some beautiful brown color on this but I'm going to want it to be a little bit deeper. So I'm going to continue applying the wax until I get the color I like. I love how this has turned out with two coats of wax, but I want this to have a little bit of a deeper color still. So I'm going to use some black chalk paint and give it some dry brushing just to bring out a little more richness. Dry brushing is easy to do if you've got the right tools. This brush had a little bit of dampness to it yet, but that's okay. I was able to just use it to blend in with the dark wax and the result was just beautiful. I am really happy with how this turned out. Look at how beautiful that wood grain looks and the black just gives it so much more depth. I know you're probably thinking, why am I covering up this beautiful wood grain cupboard with white? Well, a couple of reasons. The color looks really nice on camera, but it's kind of a pinky beige kind of color. So it's really not something that fits in with farmhouse decor. And I really love the contrast between the white and the dark brown. I'm going to give the inside two coats of white chalk paint. When you're done watching my video, I would love for you to hit that playlist link and go watch all the other people who participated in this challenge. You are sure to get some really great home sign inspiration. So I've got the two coats of white painted and here I'm just adding some lines with a pencil to make it look like shiplap. This is something that I really love to do. Anything that's white, I want it to look more like a shiplap look. I just think that's a really neat way to have some lines in it. It looks more like planks and just using a pencil seems to work out the best for me. I've chosen to put a stencil down in the bottom corner of the frame and the stencil says this home is built on love and shenanigans and I just thought that was so cute. The stencil is part of a package that I picked up at Joanne Fabric and Crafts and it's a paper stencil but it's fairly thick. I've never used this one before so I'm really excited to be showing you how this one turns out. To apply the paint, I'm using black chalk paint and a makeup sponge. This is my most favorite thing to use. 
is these makeup sponges. They're absolutely fabulous for stenciling and they give you a really nice texture and they're really easy and small to work with. You may be wondering why the bottom part of the frame doesn't look pure white like it did previously in the video. So I had tried something and it didn't turn out. So what I did was I put one coat of white chalk paint on it and then I rubbed a lot of it off because I wanted to see if the wood grain would show through and it does show through but the other portions of it looked on the pink side so I didn't want that. So what I ended up doing was letting the stencil dry and going over everything with a couple coats of white chalk paint and then I re-stenciled. So this is the original stencil that I put on. I just wanted you to see how it works and what it looks like. The last thing I did was take a little bit more of the antique wax and rub it over the white chalk paint. Now, unfortunately, I missed hitting the play button when I was doing that, so I don't have any footage, but you can kind of see here in the frame what it looks like. I'd like to thank Sonia for hosting this challenge. It really made me think outside the box. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and stick around a while. You can also click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.